Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to grow my channel to a thousand subscribers, so hit the subscribe button. Today we're going to look at the Leaving Cert poem, Driving to the Hospital by Kate Clancy. She was born in 1965 in Glasgow and educated in Edinburgh and Oxford University. Clancy teaches English in London and she writes about her personal experience of love, life, journeys, teaching and being a mother. When you hear the words driving to the hospital, which words come into your mind? So this poem is actually about the husband driving his pregnant wife to the hospital on the morning that she's about to give birth. It is a free verse poem, so there's no rhyme and she describes two different memories linked together by a gesture of kindness and love. So let's read the poem. We were low on petrol, so I said, let's freewheel when we get to the hill. It was dawn and the city was nursing its quiet. And I liked the idea of arriving with barely a crunch on the gravel. You smiled kindly and eased the clutch gently and backed us out of the driveway and patted my knee with exactly the gesture you used when we were courting. Remember, on the way to your brother's? I like driving with my baby. That's what you said. And at that time I wondered why my heart leapt and leapt. So, the morning that the woman was being driven to the hospital, they were low on petrol. So they weren't prepared that morning to drive to the hospital. The baby came suddenly. So I said, let's freewheel. So the woman in the poem came up with a solution to save petrol. They would freewheel down the hill to get to the hospital quickly and to save petrol. Do you think that the woman is in a panic about the shortage of petrol? How do you know? She was worried they would not have enough petrol to get to the hospital. So she suggested he turn off the engine and freewheel down the hill to save petrol. It was dawn, so it was early morning and the city was nursing its quiet. This is personification. It's as if the city is quiet and the city is protecting that quietness like a nurse would protect somebody. Nursing also means feeding a baby with breast milk and soon the poet will become a person who is nursing her baby, a mother. So the city is nursing its quiet. What image do you get when you read these lines? Dawn, of course, is symbolic. It is the start of a new day. The poet is about to give birth, which is the dawn or start of a new life for her and her partner. The baby is also in the dawn of his life, starting a new life. Nursing is symbolic. Soon the poet will be nursing or mothering her own baby. It is also as if the city is looking after the quietness before everyone wakes up and things get noisy. And I liked the idea of arriving with barely a crunch on the gravel. So she liked the idea that they were going to arrive early in the morning to the hospital reception with very little sound on the gravel. They were going to go silently, without noise, into the hospital. What do you hear when you read these lines? How would you describe the atmosphere or mood of these lines? She would like to arrive at the hospital gently and almost silently without any fuss or noise. Perhaps she wanted to stay calm and relaxed for the birth of the baby. The city has not yet woken up and she wanted to keep that mood of tranquility. You smiled kindly, so her partner smiled at her. 
Here the poem is in the present and she reminds her loving partner that he was caring that morning. He drove the car gently, obviously aware of her burnt contractions, and he smiled kindly and patted her knee reassuringly. You eased the clutch gently. So her partner is aware of her condition and drove very, very gently. And he backed us out of, she's talking directly to her partner now in the present and recalling this memory of how gently he drove and how he backed us out of the driveway. She remembers how gently he reversed the car out of the driveway and patted my knee. He remembers touching her knee to reassure her. Exactly the gesture you used. She remembered him patting her knee on the morning he was driving her to the hospital, but she also remembers the first time that he patted her knee. When we were courting, when they were beginning their relationship, when they were dating at first, she remembers one day, remember on the way to your brothers. So one day when they were dating, her husband was bringing her to meet his brother and she was nervous about meeting the family, so he also patted her knee. The poet recalls that on the drive to the hospital, her partner patted her knee to reassure her that everything would be okay. This brought back a more distant past memory when he did exactly the same gesture when they were driving to her brother's house when they were dating. By patting her knee now, her partner is telling her, I still have the same feeling for you as I had all those years ago when we were dating. I love driving with my baby. That's what you said. What can you say about the man in these lines? What can you say about the relationship between both of them in these lines? How would you describe the atmosphere or mood in the car? Driving with my baby is symbolic. When he said, I love driving with my baby, that's when they were dating. In that situation, my baby meant my love or my girlfriend. But now he's also driving with his baby because they're going to have a baby soon. At that time, I wondered, the first time he told her, I love driving with my baby, she wondered, she thought deeply, why my heart leapt and leapt. For the first time in her life, she remembers that when he said, I love driving with my baby, her heart jumped for joy. And she didn't understand what this strange feeling was. How is this line different from the atmosphere in the rest of the poem? Is it an effective way of describing her emotion? She says she did not immediately know why she felt excited at her boyfriend's words and gestures. At this point, the relationship was just starting and she did not immediately recognize that they were actually in love. Memories. Which two memories does the poet recall? Early morning when she went into labor, perhaps this came earlier than expected as it was dawn and they were low on petrol. Her partner smiled kindly and reversed the car gently. She was worried that they would not have enough petrol to get into the hospital. So she suggested he turn off the engine and freewheel down the hill to save petrol. Time. The poem shifts in time from past to present to more distant past. Time overlaps or intersects in this poem. First memory in the past is when they were taking it, when he was driving her to the hospital. The present is she's reminding him of that day. And the more distant past is when she talks about when they were dating. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button and come back for more revision videos soon.